Hey guys, Rick Wayne here with a brand new Lego Batman Killer Croc Sewer Smash set. It's set number 76055 and has 759 pieces. The set cost about $80 and it looks pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and check it out. But first, let's build it. So here is everything that you get in the Killer Croc Sewer Smash set. So let's go ahead and take a look at Katana first. So this is a brand new figure for LEGO to make. It is Katana, of course. And I'm really glad that they decided to make her uh, because she is in the Suicide Squad. So even if they can't actually make Suicide Squad, they're making some of the characters from it like her. And she does have a double-sided face. Um, she also has really awesome looking printing. I think they did a great job on this figure. It looks really, really good in my opinion. And besides Katana, we also have another new character here, or at least a new version, because this used to be Robin. Uh, this is Red Hood, and this is his motorcycle. It's got a sticker on each side, but really this set really didn't have a lot of stickers, so that's that's not too bad. I don't mind that at all. I think it only had like five stickers in the whole set, but this is his motorcycle, and here is Red Hood. So this is Red Hood, who of course used to be Robin. This is Jason Todd Robin, by the way. Um, now Jason Todd Robin was actually killed by the Joker, um, and I believe the story goes that uh, Talia al Ghul actually uh, put him in a Lazarus pit and brought him back, and it changed him, and that's how he became Red Hood. And this is Killer Croc's Battle Chomper, kind of an interesting little set, uh, or part of the set here. Um, so, it, of course, it looks like a mouth here, um, and when you turn this wheel, it kind of chomps. I mean, it doesn't do the same thing when you turn that one. That one just spins, but this wheel makes it chomp. So when you're, you know, kind of going across here, it should it how it chomps down. I think it's kind of cool. Um, anyway, we do have a new Killer Croc Big Fig here. And this evil-looking monstrosity is our new version of Killer Croc. Of course, it's a big fig instead of a regular minifigure form. Um, this is the first time in a very long time that we've even gotten Killer Croc, and of course it is definitely the first big fig version of him. Um, and hopefully one day they will design big figs that have moving legs. And back to the Battle Chomper here. If you turn this around, um, it's got a little tail that kind of uh, just swivels back and forth, and also there's a little there's a little sticker piece there, tail on one side and chomp on the other, and I think it's kind of a cool little design. Um, like I said, there's the teeth and all. It looks pretty cool to me. 
There's the bottom. And it's also got a little spot up here for Captain Boomerang. And before I show you Boomerang, I'll just show you this little feature here. Um, it's got where you can push this, and it's actually going to uh, shoot off this boomerang that's attached in front. Doesn't work perfectly, but uh, kind of went off to the side there, but it does work. Uh, and, of course, we have another new minifigure here, Captain Boomerang. So here's Captain Boomerang up close. I think they did a great job printing the front of his torso and the legs, and even putting a little boomerang on his hat. Um, it looks great, and the real actual Lego boomerang is awesome too. Uh, now the back is kind of plain. Um, there's also no second face. He just has the one face. Uh, but I do think, at least from the front, this minifigure looks absolutely awesome. And finally, this is the back tank that's in this set, which I think is really cool. Uh, let me go ahead and first show you the biggest feature on here, um, and that is this. It can kind of transform, and the purpose is for this to be like a battering ram, and even when it is down like that, you can still shoot that uh, rapid fire stud shooter right here. But I think it's kind of cool that you can do that. Now you can do it like that with your hand, or you can actually turn this whole piece at the back, and that does it too. It doesn't turn back as well, but it does work. Um, it, it just turns better going that way. Uh, but anyway, so that is like the largest feature on here, at least. And like I said, there's a stud shooter right here. It's one of the rapid fire ones, which I think is kind of cool, uh, because all you do is just turn it and, you know, you can shoot those off pretty quick. Uh, and of course it holds six. That's why you also get six extras down here, uh, because inevitably you're going to lose those when you start firing them off. Uh, and anyway, uh, there's only one sticker on the bat tank and it's just a bat symbol. So I think that is awesome. At least if I remember right, I think there's just one sticker. Uh, anyway, uh, so back here at the back, that is the piece that you turn to kind of use your battering ram up there. And we also have these little pieces that kind of pop off and you can basically use them as bombs if you want to. Uh, it's kind of a neat design for the bat tank. I think this is only the second time that they've made a bat tank. Um, and if you guys want to see a comparison, let me know, because I do have the old one somewhere. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think it's kind of a cool design. The old one is cool too, though. Uh, and, if I can get this open, this is where Batman sits. Oh, there was another sticker. It's that little piece right inside there. That red part is a sticker. And here is Batman. And here's Batman. I, you have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that there's anything new about this Batman. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have seen him before in other sets, uh, but it's always nice to have a Batman minifigure. Um, and of course, it's got, you know, a silver batarang with it, which is cool. And he does have a double-sided face, so not bad at all. So now that you've seen everything, including all the minifigures in this awesome set, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Let me know what is your favorite part or which is your favorite minifigure or big fig out of this new set. Uh, just let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you guys later.